Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Place Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Today, I Monsters guess like I'm going back to the inn. Up more and more lately. Goddamn reactors to blame. Yeah, I guess. All right. That wasn't really okay. So it wasn't. It wasn't like the monsters in the original. Some of them were created by Shinra. Not all of them. Um. No, oh, hell, God. <laughs> Jesus Christ, nightmare. Hey, you guys are that avalanche splinter cell, right? Now, how the hell did you? I just gotta say, I'm a big, huge fan of yours. HQ wishes they could be as cool as you guys. <sighs> well, uh, we are pretty cool. I am. Think we could sit down for a chat later? Got a teensy favor to ask. And gotta thank you for before. I suppose you could come by the inn tomorrow. Sweet! You won't be sorry. Promise. Later. Bye. Nice Naruto running. Can you not run at me like that ever again, though? Um. I know, I know. She laid it on pretty thick. But hey, she's just a kid. What's the harm in hearing her out? Maybe she wants your autograph. Maybe she wants to steal our materia. <laughs> Come on, let's get ourselves some rooms. Anyways, yeah, there were some monsters that were created by Shinra and like Shinra reactors, like Leak of Mako, but it wasn't really all of them. Uh, I guess not all of them in this world are either, but at the same time, it, they definitely stress that monsters seem to be mostly Shinra's doing. Like, that one was not Shinra's doing in the original. It just kind of existed. He was a monster of the sea. Just like, I'm a man of the sea! Man, if it isn't the heroes of the hour, I heard about what you did for that girl. Thank you so much. Your stay is on us. We insist. It's the least we can do for you, really. Okay. Now then, how many we got? Will four rooms be enough? <clears throat> Growl. Uh, could you make it five? Five it is. Do we need five rooms? Oh, can we bunk? Like, ladies, can't you share a room and we'll share a room and ourselves? I about you, but I'm dying to put my feet up. It's nice to have the place booked up again for once. Gosh, when was the last time that happened? A week ago? I don't know. Guess I should have probably checked to see if there was anything different after that. I'm sure it's fine. There's one more... No? It's open. We really needed five rooms to ourselves, really? Hi. Hey, so about that Yuffie kid, what do you think she wants with us? Be honest. Uh, do you want to have your autograph, those Shinra bounties? Uh, Shinra bounties. Could be that she's after those Shinra bounties. <laughs> <sighs> you know? You might be right about that. Little punk blowing smoke up our asses. Ought to give her a piece of my mind. Yeah, go for it. I don't know if that was a good choice for that, but if I was them and she Naruto run right up to me. One by one, and the tighter I held on, the more I lost. I know. I felt the same. It was like they were sucking them straight out of my head. Stranger's voice. Hello? And the worst part is that I don't even know what's missing. Only that something is. Like it's on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't remember. Damn whispers. Speaking of, you seen them lately? <laughs> Hello? Cloud. Sorry, I was spying on you. Who's in there with you? Oh. Hmm. Right. I thought it was someone else. Nope. I'll clear your officer. Well, hope the rest of your patrol is just as uneventful. Wait, no, I need that chest! No, like, seriously, though, can I come in there? Come in. <laughs> I need that chest. Hi. This isn't yours, right? Because it's mine now. 
Empress Scepter. Hello. I don't know about you, but it feels like we've been on the road forever. Um. Midgar's ancient history. Well, it's been a couple years since remake. Mom and Marlene are holding up. And 14 hours since I started this one? No time for that. Not with Sephiroth around. Hmm. So, a little random, but do you remember the first time we met? Uh, you shoved the flower at me the church, right? You shoved the flower at me, right? You shoved a flower in my face. <laughs> it's called a gift, Cloud. I saw it, you know, in a vase at Seventh Heaven. And I seriously doubt you're the one who put it there. Hey, I mean, you never know. I did I did try Sometimes to smooth my way over with never Tifa. Never gift a present from a girl. Oof. Especially if you're just going to give it to another one. <laughs> Noted. Water under the bridge. But next time. Oh, I gotta go. I gotta go, Aerith. Oh, fuck. Oh, I didn't like that at all. Oh, coming in. Hi, do you make weird voices? This town reeks of fish and brine. Should Shinra come calling, I doubt I'll smell them till it's too late. Uh. Uh, we'll manage. We'll manage. <laughs> it feels like I have fish bones in my nose. All right. Bye bye. Uh, hey Tifa, do you want to make things more awkward between us? Cause uh, every time I talk to you, uh, it doesn't go well. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Oh. Hey. Perfect timing. I was just about to come find you. Okay. Yeah, I... You... Regret what I said in calm. Oh. Come in. That was pretty rude of me. I should have never doubted you. It's fine. I never should have doubted you either. I mean, you probably should have. Say, do you remember a guy named Emilio from Nibelheim? Emilio. The general store kid? The general store kid? Yeah. <sighs> anyway, he left the village right before you did. Thought I'd never see him again. Then one day last year, he shows up at Seventh Heaven. I couldn't believe my eyes. He was all grown up. Didn't even recognize him at first. Really? Yeah, and what's more, the woman who walked in with him was stunning. Like, she could have been a model, and... What's her name? You're not boring me, I'm just trying to remember. You're not interested, are you? Not really. But I I'm happy to listen, so go ahead. It's okay. Forget it. God damn it, Cloud! God damn it, Cloud! Was this another test? No, it wasn't. I... Why deny it? I guess it was, huh? I'm sorry. It's fine. We'll find time to talk. Just the two of us. Like right now. Figure things out. Just be ready to spill your guts, huh? <laughs> With my iron stomach? Oh, bullshit, dude. <laughs> Well, that didn't go bad. I mean, it could have gone a lot better, to say the least, but... Can I come back in? Think I'll turn in early tonight. Okay, that's a no. <laughs> That is a huge no.
Um, can I just heal myself? Actually, I'm kind of sick of the red borders already. There we go. Should I go explore just in case? I'm assuming nothing. Oh, okay. Never mind. Uh, lightning ore materia. Well, you know. Guess that is better than nothing. I'm gonna probably sell it, right? I mean, you might need it on multiple people, I guess. We already had two of them. And the lightning and wind orb, right? Just a quick little loop-de-loo, see if anything's new. Because you never know with these types of games. When they're op open world, they're pretty open until they're not open, and then you miss something. I actually have never been up here before. Oh, you're the last queen blood dude. Hello. Oh, hey there, mister. Are you looking for someone to play Queen's Blood with? Yeah. We'd be more than happy to go around or two with you. Can you go I'm easy on me? The younger brother, and I'm Darren, the older one. I'm Cloud, Together, and I don't care. A double D duo, a team of twins who love Queen's Blood. You'll face my little brother here first. If you win, then I'll oh, take so there's you on. Two. two for the price of one. Sweet deal, right? Speaking of prices, if you lose against either of us, you gotta fork over three gil. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. At least it's only three gil, I guess. No reward, huh? Well, let's just start with this then. Could be worse. Could be 3,000 gil. So all these are one. Let's start with that one, I guess. Uh, no. Here. Yeah. Okay, and then this. Um. I guess. That goes down there. We might lose that one, though. Because we're going to lose that one. Like this? We're still going to lose that one. that um oh yeah sure oh but you're we're still gonna lose that one all right well oh what oh it's only one boo well we can do this one there we won I might take Shiva out of my deck. It's good. Not great. And it's really only good if you can actually make it that you have a bunch of like free ones me. open. Yay. Don't worry, Devin. I promise I'll avenge you. He's gonna lose. Ooh, that's a good one. Kind of. Put it at the bottom, it makes the top row bigger. Yeah, that might be good. Uh, sure. Uh, let's see. This? We do this. And we can put that one up there. Like that. Uh, 
then like this. Why do that though, Cronus? I honestly don't know. Well, now we can do this, or we can do that. Yeah. And then we can do this and take that one over. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're good. Kind of good. We should win. We might not win. I guess. Oh, like this? Yeah. What are you waiting for that three spot for? I don't know, Shiva? Uh. Right, I guess these. Sure. So we win. That one wasn't too bad. The old man down by the river, uh, a lot more challenging. We might put this in the deck. I don't really know. I can't believe we lost. I do. You're better at this than I thought. Hold up. Does this mean we don't get our three gil? No, he totally still owes us. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the deal was if we lost, we got three gil. Isn't that right? <laughs> I'm just uh, you can have the three gill. You may have beaten us this time, but we'll get that three gill from you yet. So if you're ever in the mood, come back and play. Dog, three gill is like nothing, but sure. Whatever. If you if you're that desperate for three gill, like by all means. That might actually it might be like D and D stuff, right? Where one gold piece is worth a ton, though the party's gonna have a ton of it, right? So, yeah, you can, you can Don't drop, it now. drop it like it hot. Alright, well, I guess that seems to be it. I'm not gonna go fight that old man again. Hello. Sorry. I, I make things awkward, I know. I'm assuming there'll be side quests around here that open up, like, soonish, I would imagine. Because we've only had one so far in the region, and we have actually two parts of the region locked off to us. So, you should probably check out uh, Aerith's new weapon, huh? Uh, did you learn... You have not learned Arcane Ward yet, and Radiant Ward. Uh, Conjure Ward that grants invincibility while casting. Ooh, and strengthens Aerith's basic attack. That's really good. You lose... 21? Oh, we have double uh, slots for our weapons now. Interesting. Okay, I should probably look into that. I mean, I'm going to bring it back to this one because... You need to level that one up. The amount of HP MP you absorb from Soul Drain, wind damage up. Okay. Yeah, 20% wind damage. Tifa, you didn't even have anything for some reason. So just Aerith has enough weapon ability points, SP points, whatever they're called, to have a level four weapon. I don't know why you have so much more than that, than us on that, to be quite honest. I don't know how that happened or why that's a thing. It's fine. Rest for the night? Sure. 
You hungry? No? Why were you holding your stomach, man? Oh, okay. You're gonna, like, crunch the, the hunger away? Was that Yuffie? The glove looked different. So it wasn't it wasn't Tifa's. Come on in, guys. Hi. Hey. <laughs> okay. Now that the gang's all here, it's time you got to know me. My name is Yuffie, Materia Hunter and Elite Ninja Operative for the Interim Wutai Government. I left my beloved homeland behind to bring an end to Shinra's reign of terror and prove that Wutai's not to be trifled with! Okay. Uh, Wutai? Yep. Which brings me to that little favor I mentioned yesterday. Long story short, I want you to join me. <laughs> they just didn't understand, but you guys get it. <sighs> Don't ninjas creep around in the dark, slitting people's throats? Usually, I mean, we've done some or they spit fire out of their mouth, just yelling. I resent that. <laughs> Although that is something we do. <laughs> She's like, come on, bring it in, bring it in. <laughs> Traveling alone so far from home is expensive, so I've been moving from town to town, hustling, scraping together enough scratch to keep sticking it to the man. Until, that is, I came here, and lucky I did, because I met Rhonda. She offered me the gig of a lifetime, an assassination. And guess who the target is? Me? Seriously, guess. <sighs> <laughs> Just spit it out already. Uh, Rufus? Yeah. A certain company's new president, Rufus freaking Shinra! That crazy or what? And that douchebag will be here any minute now. Up there here anyway. Enjoying his fancy inauguration parade. These people had their country stolen from them, and then their sunlight. Junon demands revenge. So when the president steps out. Oh, wow. Tell us more. I mean, if you can do it. Okay. You want to know how Rhonda's planning on paying me? With your bounty suckers. What? Wow, got a hand it to her. The lady works fast. Well, this is fun. See ya. Hey. <laughs> Oh, is it that idiot? You should try to find Priscilla. She'll get you topside. Now, now, you don't want to make me come in there and fetch you because I would love to do it. Who's that? A pain in the ass. <laughs> Let's go. He's right. Did we not? No, we fought him with Jesse Biggs and Wedge. From yonder balcony breaks. Come on down and see. No, he's a romantic, that's for sure. Leave any of this shit? Alright. Yeah, so they weren't actually there. They don't know this guy. Lucky them. Not that I'm imagining he'll be any real challenge, but we'll see. Yeah, I am kind of a tease. So what? Honestly, how long do you intend to keep me waiting? I was only going as fast as I could, man. Absence certainly makes the heart grow fonder, my friend. I do like your soldier outfit a bit more than mine. <laughs> Still playing hard to get it. Could be a little darker. Well, I've got news for you, young man. As if by fate, the speed demon has been entrusted with a singular task. Retrieving one Aerith Gainsbury. Me? Wait out, you south here. You come alone? He probably knew, right? <laughs> you can imagine. It only takes two to tango. Besides, 
You and I like to go big, and a venue this small just won't do. But no need to worry. I found the perfect stage. The city above, where we can dance up a storm. Seek me out, and we'll put our last performance to shame. With a show none shall ever forget. Why are every, why is every soldier this weird? <laughs> why is everyone weird? What about Cloud? Oh, he's fucking weird too. What are you talking about? Weird friends, man. We might want to think about getting out of here. These people don't need more trouble. Fuck them. Yuffie said to talk to Priscilla if we wanted to get If they were going to fucking turn us in, fuck them. Thanks for dealing with that Shinra nut job. Don't you think for even a second we did that for you, the slime ball who sold us out? Take it. Not much, but it's yours. The hell's this supposed to be? Five, five thousand? <laughs> Your bounty. Part of it, anyway. You thought I'd put you through the ringer like that without making it worth your while? Just five thousand dollars. on the same side. Always have been. She's worth half a million. What if Biker Boy had taken us in? Then I would have had to improvise, but I didn't, because it all worked out. Worked out fine. Like I pray it will for you, Fee, upstairs. New quest available. All right. Uh, we... In Crow's Nest? Okay. So can we go to Crow's Nest now? Uh, the Frogmaster. Looking for a bodyguard. My boy is Salmon. Needs to get a delivery. Okay. Well, so can we go to the crow's nest? It said new queen's blood people at crow's nest. <laughs> Didn't think you'd still be hanging around. Well, since you clearly don't have anything better to do, think I could put you to work? The remainder of your bounty. I need it delivered to someone. I've already got a porter picked out, too. This here is Salmon. Okay. I thought it was Since a child. the one making the drop, it's your job to get him there safe. Doesn't seem like too much of a hassle, but who exactly is this money for? My son. Haven't seen him in a spell. Not since he left town. And never looked back. This gills me washing my hands of him. He's a grown man. Can't be clinging to his mom's skirts. Or her pocketbook. Where's your son? The crow's nest. Boy got sick of living under this steel sky. And my thumb, I suppose. So he went into the mountains way east of here. Found some more like-minded idiots. Kinda sad, if I'm being honest. If you're gonna run away, at least go somewhere interesting. Don't half-ass it. About the money? I meant what I said. Can't afford to take care of this town and his shit. I raised him best I could. Gave him every advantage. But he's got to learn to stand on his own two Didn't feet. Didn't he do that by leaving and not looking back? Besides, I've got someone else to take care of now. Don't I, Sam? Okay. Much obliged. Once you make it to the crow's nest, find Toby. He'll make sure you get the reward I promised. Okay. But if I find a single hair out of place on Sam, you won't live to enjoy it. You keep my boy safe. I mean, I'll kill as many people as I can to keep him safe. I don't even know this dog. Probably came looking for um, I guess we'll just start with this one. Where those Gabe's Chocobo? Gabe's Chocobo bullshit. Can I teleport to the front of this town? Uh, maybe. Okay. Is this the Frogmaster? All right, but right here, and then Salmon's gonna be there. Hi, Salmon. I'm definitely gonna save before we start this. I just noticed you had a health bar. All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's do that. Rough, rough. Follow Salmon. How about I just carry you on Chocobo back? Any monster that wants to get you is gonna have to go through me. 
Salmon, you have 2,550 50 HP? Hey, Cloud, remind me. How old were you when you left home? 14, apparently. 14. Wait, it was spring, so... 13. Suppose that ain't too unusual for small town boys. That's fucking very unusual. What did mom have to say? Not much. Didn't try to stop me. Like you said, nothing unusual about it, but... But? 2,000 gil. She offered me that. To make a fresh start. Very nice of her. <laughs> Guess moms are the same all over. I turned the money down, though. Didn't need it, since I was planning to enlist straight away. <laughs> but you still can't help setting your price to two grand. Sentimental, ain't it? Oh. Huh. Get your ass out of here. It's on you. Keep it really? together. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. What is this music? Well, I've got something to what the fuck is this music? <laughs> Why is this? <laughs> I just noticed it. Like, I heard this music as we were running. But when the battle started, I was just not expecting that. Sounds like a commercial. Should I get on my chocobo? Nah, probably not. I don't want to accidentally run him over. How are we gonna get Zincor? Oh, uh, hello. You. What is this music? Oh, this crawler, you're assessed. You're assessed! Oh, there's another crawler. Ow. Salmon, are you alright? Material level up. Holy shit! Materia in the back party actually levels up? Oh my god, I need to put on Materia or other people. Hold up, Salmon. Jesus Christ, are you... Really? Okay. I'll have some cleansing then and... I... HP and then Aerith you can have... I mean, we could, we could give you some... The auto cast stuff, MP. Then MP. Okay. Good, 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 good to know. I'll, I'll, I'll make them combat ready when I need to. Know how some parents stop their kids from leaving the nest? Uh huh. Claiming it's too soon or they're not ready. 13's too soon. What about it? Loads of parents are like that, but I told myself I'd be different. I'd never keep my little girl from playing. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. I don't want to clip her wings. I want her to soar. <laughs> I hear you scoffing. You think I can't do it? You think I'll keep her all to myself? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that's what scares me. As much as I want to let her fly, I don't know if I'll be able to let her She's go. four! Maybe I'll <laughs> get in the way. I think she's four. Down. All to keep us safe. Oh, Marlene. I wish you could be my baby girl forever. I mean, she's gonna be your baby girl for a little while longer because she is legitimately a baby still, right? I think she's four. She's either four or five. Hell, if this was Final Fantasy IV, she'd be in the fucking party. That's not sarcasm either. There are literally two four-year-olds, or five-year-olds, excuse me. Don't want to embellish too much. There's, yeah, there's two five-year-olds that joined the party for a little bit. Okay, let's not attack over near Salmon. Ow. Shit, dude, you get... You all right? You want to be healed? My bad, I shouldn't have went over there. I kinda didn't see you there, but it's fine. You're alive. 
For the most part, anyways. Unless you're not, and you're a lich dog. If that's the case, I'm just fucking jealous, alright? Yeah, I know Biggs was shown to be, uh... Alive. At the end of Remake. Alright, sorry about that. Yeah, so, Biggs was shown at the end of Remake to be in bed and alive. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna be... This timeline or the next timeline, or other timeline, whatever it is. Um, Jesse was not shown, her gloves were shown, yeah? Wedge had a black screen death, so he's almost certainly still alive, but they haven't shown anything. But until I see a body, he's most certainly alive. It's video games, movies, stories 101. If you don't see a body, it's, uh, <laughs> it's still a chance that they're alive. Hell, even if you see a body, guess what? It's still a chance that they could be alive. Oh, my sweet baby girl. What now? Your daddy. Your silly daddy. <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna fail you. Oh, I can't let you go. I just can't. Barrett, she's four. Marlene's barely out of diapers. You've got time. Right, right. <laughs> I worked up over nothing. Yeah, and she won't be leaving me for a while. Then again, hey. Now the now, now now Cloud's just fucking with them. I mean, we got to be almost there, right? We are somewhat almost there. What's up? Boss fight? Ooh, boss fight. Well, I don't know if it's a boss, but... They pretty big, though! Sandstorm trait. Uh, detrimental status effects. Petrifying stone. Well, that's legal now, so I don't have to worry about it, right? Uh, you've been petrified. I have?! Taking a certain amount of damage while this it turns you to stone. What the fuck? When did I get petrified? Next salmon and defeat the fiends. Oh, now I've been petrified. Ow. Alright. Uh do 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 do. That's the right. They are weak to wind. Barrett. Bonus round. Salmon, get out. Alright. Sonic Boom! Wow, that... How much health do you have? Just, okay, that did like no damage to you, which was very shocking. Salmon, I noticed your HP went down a little bit, and I gotta say, dog. Well, what the fuck? Pretty sure I told you to not fucking do that. Oops. Also... Not where I want to be. Ow. You know what? You're right. He blocked. Stop blocking. Also, Maximum Fury. Oh, they're, they're not kidding about this whole blocking thing. Yeah, fat roll. I'll bring in the air. Salmon! Salmon! Fuck off, dude! Never thought I'd say Salmon fuck off, but here we are. I've been stoned. Now die! Alright, Salmon. I better not need to get you here at full health, because I'll be very upset. Because that damage wasn't my fault. You just kept running into it. My god. Bow wow wow, bow wow wow. Indeed. I think that's what they're saying. I don't know. Hey, you guys have any zinc ore here? 
Why couldn't Sarah, we just ride with him on the chocobo? What are you doing here? <laughs> Came all this way and you're still full of energy. Uh, do I know you? You're gonna. We're Sam's bodyguards. Your mom hired us to keep him safe. And to make sure her boy got his allowance. His last allowance. Keep it. I ain't taking her money. I can make ends meet on my own. Who are they, Dylan? Friends of yours? Claire, what are you doing out of bed? You know you need to stay off your feet. I know you came all this way, but I can't accept that. I'm not bringing him back home. Make sure Sam gets home safe for me. You really are your mother's kid. Got her stubbornness and everything. Have it your way. <sighs> Why don't you hang on to it? This is a fortune. If you really don't want it, I'll take it off your hands. But as a parent, I'm sure you want to give your kid the best life you can. And in my experience, that don't come cheap. God, no. Think it over. That's true. Go move move to Costa del Sol or something, man. Dilster was looking for you, dude. Toby. Sorry, got a little tied up. Hang on. Aren't these guys with Avalanche? Rhonda said I might run into you. Avalanche? Wait, you mean they're the ones who blew up those reactors? No. The superstars themselves. I just want to say it is such an honor to meet you. Yeah, I Actually, killed a bunch of innocent here, people. I think I could ask you for a favor. No. Seeing as Dylan's uh, situation seems to be taken care of. Yep, it's all good. Excellent. I mean, technically, this timeline, we didn't In really case, blow up that reactor. Step into my office for a chat. Right this way. Woo. Quest complete. Hello. You think my mom knew about me and Claire and the baby? Oh, maybe. Hello. I'm happy we were able to meet you. Almost feels like this little one brought us together. You sound like Rise. We despise Shinra just as much as you do. But with a baby on the way, it's hard to offer aid to the resistance. Still, if there's anything we can do to ensure a brighter future for our child, just say the word. Right. Once you're out of there, we'll go pay your grandma a visit. Okay, you do that. Hey, you take care of the dog too, because I'm not doing it. Unless I actually have to. Torinos are something else. When I saw you on the news, I was blown away. Violence isn't the answer. Yes, it is. Or it's this question, are, and yes, is the hand. answer. It's literally a dream come true. Is that a music thing? What? What is that? Hi. So here's the situation. There's this big lighthouse down by the Cape, and someone calling themselves the Merc of Oh my Chino God! Has turned it into their hideout or something. Curie. Oh, are they an acquaintance of yours? Sorta. What are the chances? I don't know about you, but I think fate brought us together. Anyway, that place has got a killer view. We used to go up there all the time and just chill. But it's too dangerous with all the monsters around, and that merc hasn't done a thing about him. So I was pretty sure she's not a fighter a in this game. That merc to help us out. Ask about the merc. They've done many a good deed in Midgar and all throughout the grass. No, they didn't. Allegedly, that is. And like, if they're so good at doing good, then why aren't they doing anything now? Uh, about the lighthouse. The lighthouse is up ahead, right on the cape. Apparently, it used to guide ships back in the Republic days, but that was like forever ago. Anyway, it's super out of the way and crawling with monsters. Anyone who thinks customers will come calling is out of their mind. Do him a solid. No, we only do Tifa a solid. Yo, you're the best. You know, I just knew I could count on you. That wasn't a pervy comment, so, by the way. You gonna help or me? You can sniff out trouble. I suppose that does make me the most suitable candidate. Oh, pro tip. If you ever get the chance, you ought to swing by the hill, too. You might even catch a glimpse of the great condor if you're like... I mean, the one that ate if you're into one that of the clones? Yeah. Yeah, so... 
that was that was referencing uh, Team Four Stars uh, Final Fantasy Seven Machina Bridge. <laughs> but I know it came. Oh God, it's a fucking piano. Uh, yeah, I'll come back to you. <laughs> I'll come back to you because I I know it's not gonna go well. You don't have any friends, just so we're clear. Two on sale. Yeah, me. <laughs> Maybe Toby can be your Dylan, huh? <laughs> it's kind of fucking. <laughs> sure. Uh, hello. All right. So there's two Queen's Bloods and a side quest. And a Chadley, but we don't really care about that one. Our latest newsletter uh, Dreaming of Blue Skies. See, you're not going to read that, Kronos? I probably should have. You're right. Ah, man. Priscilla's plan. Dreaming of Blue Skies. Please zoom out. There we fucking go. Condor sightseeing request. And head to the abandoned lighthouse. We only need to. Because... No, get rid of that. That is where... Where's the last divine one? Oh, it's right there. Oh, wait. It's in the city? Under the crow's nest. What's the plan? Is that right? The hippopotamus bird? I don't think that's what they said, but that's cool. All right, so I guess we have some side quests to do, which I do plan on doing those right now. Yeah, I am. Um, we do need to figure out how to get down to that divine intel. I wish I had a breadcrumb thing showing me the way. If I was an underground passage, where would I be? You're right, underground. Down there? <sighs> Down there? Think I can make that jump? No. Okay, well. I mean, you're probably right. <laughs> you're almost certainly right. But can I make this jump? Why don't you just walk around, Kronos? That's probably for the best. You can do this. There you go. Oh, okay. Where is the down? Is this the down? How the fuck? I like how that pin is nowhere near where you need me to go, by the way. Ah, oh, shit. I actually have no idea. I wanted to kind of get down there before I ended the episode. Uh, but it looks like I don't know how to get out of this goddamn crow's nest place. So... Down here. Oh, snap. We found our way out. My God. Who would have thunk it? The legend also tells of the gifts Phoenix bestowed on the kind angler. As thanks for his fire, the great bird brought forth myriad fish into the world. So when next you partake of the region's seafood, remember to praise Phoenix. Huh. Okay. Really? Sure. Alright. What do you want me to do? Circle X, X circle. Okay.
Okie dokie. I think I got it? Yeah. So now we could easily defeat the Phoenix and get some Terria, which I guess I will. Right? Well done. You've located and analyzed all the crystals in the Junon region. I do that. Thanks to you, Phoenix's flames will no doubt be that much more radiant. Ah, though you have yet to obtain the right Yeah, thanks, area, Chadley. As I recall. You'll first need to confront the Divine via the combat simulator. Uh, yeah. I know. Thanks for rubbing that in. But we'll do that next time. Thank you for watching. I'll see y'all then. Have a great day. Bye.